this video, we'll address troubleshooting variable frequency drives, commonly known as VFDs, and what their common faults are. VFDs are located in a variety of different locations, and this will vary from site to site. Some common locations are in cabinets connected to the hood, remotely mounted cabinets located in or near the hood, maintenance or electrical rooms where service breakers can be found, above the hoods where the lines for the exhaust fan motors have already been run, or on the roof. Some facilities require NEMA 3R enclosures, which are waterproof and meant for mounting outside the building. Commonly, these units are placed near each fan or motor. VFD connections will also vary depending on the facility and the type of drives used. There are generally two options, direct control by the IntelliHood system via the CAT5 Modbus connection or analog control via the IntelliHood system. The Modbus control uses our VFD port on the controller and provides a two-way communication with the drive. This allows actual drive status and data to be displayed on the IntelliHood touchpad. If your IntelliHood touchpad is displaying VFD lost comms, it usually means the drive has lost power or the connection has been broken either physically or by some programming change. Verify the CAT5 cable is securely connected at the drive and the system controller, and if further investigation is needed, contact our technical support for assistance. If you have an analog control drive, this normally means the drive was either existing or supplied by others and could not be directly controlled by the IntelliHood system. In this case, we are telling the drive when to turn on and how fast to go with analog wire connections, but do not receive any feedback data that shows drive status or faults. In most cases, when a problem occurs with a fan, you have noticed because the kitchen is noticeably quieter or getting hot and smoky. To check the connections here, you'll need a multimeter to check DC voltage and continuity. You may want to have your facilities or electrician look into the issue. The VFD is a place to modulate and protect the motor against incoming power from the service breaker to the VFD, and from the VFD to the serving motor. If a fault is detected, cycle power at the service breaker for approximately one minute. The display on the VFD should go blank at this time. After one minute, turn the breaker back on and cycle the power to the IntelliHood system. If the fault persists, contact Malink Technical Support at 877-477-4190. The following are examples of advanced troubleshooting you may be able to perform on site. If, however, you are uncomfortable working with electrical equipment, contact Malink Technical Support or your local licensed electrician. For overage vaults, check for water at the disconnect. Adjusting the deceleration scale on the VFD may help this issue from the motor regeneration on the bus voltage. For overload faults, check the motor nameplate, FLA, VFD programmed FLA, and actual amp draw. If overamping occurs, reduce the maximum frequency from what is currently programmed. This would suggest that the motor is working harder either due to age, belts that are too tight, or a combination of both. For under voltage faults, check for voltage on all three phases to make sure that all three legs are steady and at the appropriate voltage. This may be caused due to a temporary voltage drop from dirty power or loose connections. For earth faults, check for ground connections. Check the motor for insulation leaks and proper grounding. For advanced troubleshooting, contact Malink Corporation's technical support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And depending on the circumstances, issues may be resolved through phone support, remote diagnostics, remote control, or a technician may need to be dispatched to test and replace components based on the field conditions. Mm -hmm.